And now, on This Week in History with Paul Waite. And I am Paul Waite, and mm. it is again. Oh, God, it just seems like it comes around far too often. <laughs> One of the troubles of changing from doing the weekend to um, last week doing uh, Monday and Friday, and this week doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, is, is, is I've had to do... Um, Two lots in quick quite succession. Quick, quite quickly, actually, yeah. Mm. Poor me. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so, you're very welcome. Um, so, on This Week in History, what happened? Aha. Uh-huh. First fact today, quite late on uh, in the period, so 1568, Mary Queen of Scots flees to England. So, um, yeah, you know, sort of like the sort of Braveheart thing, um, you know, maybe, uh, you know, popular culture would be Mary Queen of Scots was sort of oppressed by uh, the English, you know, in the form of Queen Elizabeth, but um, she actually uh, was kicked out of her own country, uh, which is why she fled to to England in the first place, had a very racy past. So Ooh. those of you who uh, who uh, want to spend um, a bit of time just catching up on that, her, her sex life, it's um, mm. well worth catching up on. <laughs> so next, uh, moving forward a few years, 1607. Drew liked that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. What happened in 1607, Paul? <laughs> English colonists established the first permanent English settlement at Jamestown uh-huh. in, in the USA. So, Yeah. Yeah, so anyway. <laughs> um, Jamestown. Jamestown, yeah. This town is getting like a Jamestown. Mm-hmm. 17, that is right, yeah. 1789, we abolished the slave trade, which was um, was pretty good, I think. Mm-hmm. You know, again, so you know, way before the Americans. And of course, um, you know, they were still, well, the so American Civil War was like 70 something years later. So, um, you yeah, know, remember, remember where you heard it first? Um, 1811, Paraguay gains independence from Spain. Um, true story, this. So Paraguay qualified for the 1966 World Cup um, in, in England, obviously the year we won. Um, and imagine six-year-old Paul is absolutely fascinated mm. by this country called Paraguay. Um, I don't know why, so it's always stayed with me mm. ever since. Just uh, saw it and was like, wow. Well, yeah, I just heard about it. The mystery of it, you know. Mm. The, Have you ever know. been to Paraguay? No. No? Oh. <laughs> Do you know what the capital is? Nope. Asuncion. Ooh. Yeah. Sounds like Ascension. It probably is, and probably is uh, Ascension, actually, mm. in, in English, yeah. So, um, yeah, Paraguay gained independence from Spain. Interesting place. Named after a river. Mm. There you are. There you go. Yeah. So, um, in, in 1817, the first private mental hospital opened. Oh. Yeah, I was the first patient. <laughs> I was the first patient 143 years before I was born. Oh, wow. So it didn't make any money. In a past life, maybe. Um, it's quite an interesting one. In 1862, um, the Confederate ship, this is Confederate, as in the Confederacy in the American Civil War, Alabama was launched as the Enrica um, out of Birkenhead, obviously near Liverpool, where she was built in secret. So obviously, mm. uh, if you didn't know this, uh, Britain was on the side of the Confederates. Mm. Um, and it had been interesting actually if the confederates had won um it'd be interesting to see whether america would have well that their part of america would have rejoined britain in some way mm. um even now i have seen programs of um people down south with who have the queen uh, you know port, queen's portrait in their mm. room for instance you know so um you know it's not it's not entirely uh, it's not mm-hmm. entirely dead um so where are we now oh 1911 uh, the remains of a Neanderthal man was found in Jersey. Mm. Didn't know that. The remains but, of a Neanderthal man. Yeah, I'm quite. Yeah, it's called Callum. Apparently, <laughs> Callum. was he was he c- preserved in ice? You see quite a lot of that, don't you? Like, well, not in Jersey, people. mate. No. Oh. Have you ever been to Jersey? No. Is it Jersey quite hot? Preserved in ice. <laughs> <laughs> Do they not have mountains between, in Jersey? It's between England and France, isn't ah, it? Ah, okay. No, I see. it's flat. I think. Ah. Yeah, no great. ice then. <laughs> Shows my geography. Yeah, it's very interesting. I'm quite I'm very interested in um, how genealogy or mm. paleontology. I don't know if, mm. which is theology. Someone, someone, let me know. All, all Callum is here. He'd know. Mm. Paleontology, anthropology, is anthropology. That what it is? Yeah, I think it might be anthropology. Mm. Yeah, so I think um, the average person today has something like 0.4 percent de- Neanderthal yeah, DNA. Everyone or has a little bit of de- Neanderthal yeah, DNA. Like yeah, so little Neanderthals they mm. procreated with the locals. Um, now I'm just checking. I'm sure I've got. Ah, here we go. 1920, Joan of Arc was made a saint. Um, so um, I'm never quite sure what to make of her. Um, obviously, um, you know, she she claimed to have visions from God and all that. Um, 
I suppose at the time she she was like um, a focus for the French and um, who were who were getting a tough time against the English and losing a lot and they started winning and of course she she ended up becoming a scapegoat and burnt at the stake which um, you know you wouldn't wish on anyone so um, of course there's a great song from Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark called Joan of Arc as well Made of All Ends mm-hmm. so there we are that's the first section of On This Week in History and we'll take you over with Kings of Leon and Radioactive. On This Week in History. Oh, didn't say who I was. Mm. How do I know who I am? Yeah. Who are you, Paul? I don't know. He's the historian. I'm outstanding Paul. Cameron outstanding says. Paul. Here yes. we are. So, welcome back. 1922, the White Star Liner Majestic completed its five and a half day Majestic, <laughs> majestic, <laughs> majestic Voyage. Tour. <laughs> so this is um, Majestic's sister ship of Titanic. The Britannic. Ah. Um, I was, I was actually when I was researching this show, to the, I thought I'm not sure I would have wanted to go on that show. Mm. You know, I don't think I would have got on it. Mm. Was it after it happened? 1912, mm. Titanic sank. Wow, so this is ten years later. Whew. Yeah, you'd be a bit worried, wouldn't you? Because of course, um, I can't remember. Yeah, but I think the Brita- yeah the sister ship, the Britannic, also sank. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So it's, um, yeah. When you say sister ship, were they exactly the same build? Like uh, as in um, size, etc. No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. No. I'll, 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 I will look that up for you. Um, I picked the I picked the next bit of fact just because I wanted to be silly. Um, so those of you who don't realise this, that I am an incredibly foolish person. <laughs> so 1928, M I C K E Y M O U S E, Mickey Mouse made his first ever appearance Aww. in a film called Plain Crazy. Plain Crazy. And it baby. was silent. Mm. I can't really see anything that Mickey Mouse talks like this. What's yeah. the bloody point? <laughs> you know, if it was silent, he was. Like, oh, that's my impress. Uh. You know, my impersonation of Mickey Mouse in that film is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember silent movies, Paul? Were they in your time? <laughs> you cheeky beastard. <laughs> I used to watch them a lot. They yeah. used to have programs on where you could watch people like Buster Keaton and. Um, mm. I watched a I watched a film yesterday called Wonderland, and it was um, half of it was like in black and white. It was two stories going on at the same time, and I and it was very interesting. I thought it must have been a whole different experience watching films like that back then. No sound, mm. but someone playing an organ in the in the cinema to kind of give you a bit of sound along with the movie. It's so cool. Anyway, we're now having a musical break, so I wanted to show off that I was in the, in the Mickey Mouse Club, and I have remembered this, even though I remember this for 50 years. M I C K E Y M O U S C M I C, see you next week, K E Y, Y, because we love you, M O U S C. There we are. Our listeners have just plummeted from 663,000 to 10 people. People are disgusted by my Mickey Mouse song. I'm sure they weren't. You don't think so? No. 1937, coronation of George the Sixth. Mm. Why was that then, Drew? Because he became king. After? George the Fifth. No, no, it was... Really. Oh, I can't remember now. You said that. Because his brother. <laughs> yeah. Brother abdicated. Ah. Mrs. Simpson. Mm. Yes. He said, with a heavy heart, because he couldn't be the king mm. while he loved this woman. He, looked, he didn't look a woman to be so. Hmm. Yeah. I always thought she looked a bit manly, to be honest. But, oh. You know, who am I? I, w- I wouldn't have given up the throne. For what it, love no. does. Well, what's love got to do with it? Mm. 1938, one of my favourite films of all time, The Adventures of Robin Hood, mm. with Errol Flynn and Olivia de Havilland, who's one of the not-so-ugly-looking women of all time. Mm. Um, one of the great films, in my opinion. Errol Flynn, well known for a very large sausage, mm. if you know what I mean. Mm. Um, Australian, a great actor, drank too much. Um, I think he died when he was about 50-something, but um, certainly one of my favourite actors, it has to be said. Um, and I'm definitely going to have to improve my referencing system because it continues to be mediocre, I think. So, 1939. Uh, well, this is this is a really tragic fact. I don't, mm. I, I didn't, I don't, I'm not even sure whether I should mention it. I just can't believe it, to be honest with you. Um, a girl called Lena Medina of Peru became the world's youngest confirmed mother at the age of five. Oh. Can you, can you, I just can't get over that. It's just staggering, don't you think? Mm. Uh, moving on, uh, 1940, the Home Guard was was formed, uh, originally called the British Local Defence Volunteers. So this is, who do you think you are kidding, Mr Hitler? Mm. Yes. So, um, yeah. 
it does make you well the shudder as to what would have happened if the Germans had invaded mine, but um, mm. fortunately it didn't happen. Um, next story, uh, fantastic one, because it's um, it's actually uh, actually part of the family of Aspen Waite. Uh, 1940, the Royal Dutch Navy departed to England. Mm. So why is this significant? Mr. Shears. Mr. Shears' dad. Mm. Yes, yeah, fantastic, isn't it? So, um, yes, and um, Wales is the better for this, as is everything, really. Um and 1940, uh, Winston Churchill's first speech as Prime Minister, where he offered nothing but blood, toil, sweat, and tears. Mm. Or tears and sweat, actually. Blood, toil, tears, and sweat. Not too much sweat, I hope. <laughs> Nobody wanted to sit next to him. I said, Winston, why do you have to be sweating? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Just want to make sure we don't have... Uh, do we have yes we do 1943 on the war thing one of the great films of all time um, 617 squadron begins the dam busters raid with their bouncing bombs invented by Barnes Wallace of course mm. because the sad thing about it is um, many of the many of the planes that went over to um, to bomb the if I remember rightly it was uh, bombing the hard, hard water plants um, that um, and anyway so most of the planes didn't come back, which is something um, we tend to forget. So next we have bam, 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 shaft. Bringing you the news of old on This Week in History with Paul Wait. I've been very naughty today. Oops, sorry about that. Sorry, <laughs> I've been very naughty today because I haven't been looking in the camera, Drew. Oh, you haven't? Oh, yeah. that's all right. We can still see you. Yeah. <laughs> so 1948, Heim Weizmann was elected the first Israeli president. Mm. We covered this. In um, a feature on Ireland, when we did um, Spotlight ah, on Spotlight. Ireland, because uh, Heim Weitzman was actually born in Ireland, in mm-hmm. Belfast, I think, if I remember rightly. So, um, obviously, quite a quite an auspicious thing, so to speak, yours. Uh, in the same year, obviously, Israel declared independence um, and triggered off um, uh, a period of um, troubles, which continues to stay. So, in a lot of rioting in Jerusalem over the mm. weekend, for instance. Was there? Uh, yes. Mm. Mm, there was, yeah. 1955, the Warsaw Pact was signed. Do you have any idea what country signed that? Germany. W- Warsaw, Warsaw Pact. I don't know. So, um, Soviet Union, uh, Hungary, uh, Poland, Bulgaria. Russia. Well, it was Soviet Union. It was Russia, <laughs> <isn't> it? <laughs> So basically, all the all the Baltic states, mm. all the all the Eastern European countries, the Czech, Czech Republic. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So and what was what, that agreement about? <laughs> well, so I suppose it's sort of like their 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 um, their their um, <laughs> their blah, 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 their um, um, answer to sort of NATO or whatever. You ah, know? okay. So uh, countries coming together economically and um, in a in a um, protective way, I suppose. Hmm. Just, I'm not sure. I lost. I, I couldn't remember how many things I'd done there. So, uh, in uh, 2007, Alex Salmond was elected the first uh, first minister of Scotland, and he was the first SNP leader uh, to do so. So mm-hmm. there's been three ever since. Three since. So, uh, of course, with the um, the person that is Nicola Sturgeon, who's not my favourite person of all time, as we said. Um, 2013. Uh, Bill Gates re-became, if that's the word, the world's richest man. Uh, $727 billion. Can you, can you imagine that? Just crazy. It is crazy. The Bill I love this fact Foundation. coming up. How good is this fact, right? So... Hmm. <laughs> so no, I'll tell you what, I'm just... Paul, yeah, I don't Paul's know gone a bit quiet there. Yeah, no, I was staring at the screen and I just <laughs> suddenly... I couldn't work out which order I'd done things in. Anyway, the next fact is just fantastic. So, well, I don't know where it really is, but maybe I'm sick. Um, <laughs> British people get drunk. This is reported. British people get drunk more than any other nation. <laughs> Do you know how many times a year <laughs> that uh, that British people are supposed to get drunk? How many weeks are there in a year? Well, 52. So probably... Uh, 52 times 51 times yeah there you go look, every weekend yeah, 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 <laughs> what a staggering fact uh new 2019 uh new research shows that bed bugs are older than humans Ooh. 
So bed, bed bugs actually predate dinosaurs or existent with dinosaurs. 115 million years old. That's They're quite sad. bed it? bugs. 2020. Quite a sad story, this. Uh, J.C. Penney, which is obviously a huge, iconic store in America, 118 years old of history, um, filed for bankruptcy. Oh, dear. <laughs> you could, could be a little bit sincere then, couldn't you? And it wasn't even because of COVID. No. No. This is true. No. I must have a fact after this. Why can't I see it? There what must is be going some on? more facts. Hmm? There must be at least one more fact. Sorry about this, people. I'm just... I, 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 I've got to... I can't, I can't find... Um, to 2020, I think it might be. So how, oh. how do we do that? That's the last one, guys. So that's the last one, yeah. Nothing happened so, this week in history after 2020. <laughs> It was just... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> or or in, in Paul's mind while he was doing it. So uh, there we are. So um, a bit of a, uh, probably one of those sort of bitty weeks today. It wasn't mm. sort of Itty bitty. A, lot of, a lot of really interesting stuff that we can talk for hours about. So I um, hope you enjoyed that. Look forward to bringing it to you again next week. Available now on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts and at AspenWaitRadio.com. 